been a long time. Wait a moment. What time is it? You're here very early. Oh. You couldn't sleep? That's okay. Of course you can stay here. That's no problem. Make yourself feel nice and comfortable, okay? Just take this chair over here. Good. Would you like a cup of tea? Just put some water on. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a large variety of teas, depending on if you'd like to fall asleep, if you'd like to wake up. Mm-hmm. Well, for a refreshing taste to wake you up, I would say maybe a green tea with orange. We also have green tea with lemon. Um, maybe an Earl Grey tea, lychee tea, very tasty, we just got that in today. Um, well, yesterday I suppose. Um, what else? Um, if you are feeling sleepy and you would like to go back to sleep, we do have chamomile, we have rose, we have a cherry lavender tea. Yeah. Here, let me give you the little menu that we have here. There. You can have a little look. Mm hmm Whatever you think will work best. Good. Okay. I'm actually currently working on a new design for a cake. Um, you know, our boss has been very, very eager to update the display outside. And I told him I would actually prefer it if we could do a bit of a spring clean first because the curtains aren't looking all too grand anymore. They've been there for a while. And also, I think it would just be nice for the change of a season, you know, to update the colours a little bit. You know, I think that would be quite nice. But, uh, well, it hasn't been his first priority, so... We've had to make do. See, I put together this little illustration of a cake right here. So this would be a somewhat resembling a black forest ghetto, okay? So we've got the overall um, shape of a layered cake here. And then we've got some chocolate dribbled outside um, the frosting. Then we have sparklers at the top to just give it a little bit of an extra wow effect, I suppose. And then some uh, little cogs on the side that are made out of marzipan. Um, I'm not quite sure if, if the boss will like it or not. I'm currently also working on a few cupcake things and some little ice cream dessert thingamajigs. What do you think? Do you think that sparkles would be a good idea? Those are the ones that just continuously sparkle. Yes, they wouldn't be creating any any fumes or anything that would obviously make the cake not very edible after a while. They basically work with a bit of a mechanism. We've got some cables running through the center of the cake and then down um, into the uh, little table that it's sitting on. Yeah, we'd be taking them out if we hand it out to guests. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have any other ideas for um, taste combinations by any chance? Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me just write that all down here. Okay, so you think lemon meringue would work well? Okay. Mm hmm something nice and fruity. Mm hmm okay. Mm hmm strawberry is always a great idea, I agree. Hmm, I suppose if we did that one with dark chocolate and cherry, and we did the other one with strawberry and white chocolate, that might be quite interesting. Hmm, yes. What type of chocolate do you usually prefer? Yeah? Mm hmm Are you one of those people who also likes the um, really high percentage of chocolate? Say like 95% of cocoa? 
Mm. <laughs> I know a lot of people find it a little bit difficult to to like because it is quite bitter, isn't it, at some point? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay. So on the sides here, maybe if we do um, white chocolate and strawberry, we could add some of these little swells on the side here. Hold on. And that might look kind of like like a fresh layer of cream, or maybe even um, buttercream frosting that we could do in a vanilla type taste, or maybe even strawberry, but I have to say, when it comes to buttercream frosting, I do think that the strawberry taste can very quickly turn too sweet and very artificially tasting. So, I think we might actually stick to vanilla here. Okay, let's see. Alright, I'll just keep this one up for now, but regarding the cupcakes, I was recently thinking, what if we added a pigment to the uh, frosting or to the actual batter that could change its colour depending on the temperature that it surrounds? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know, I just thought that might be fun. We could maybe do a, a very simple base, so that would be maybe vanilla again and then we could add the frosting on top and depending on the weather changes or when someone bites into the actual cupcake we could make it change its colour and depending on the season or depending on you know whatever festivity is going on at that time we could change the colour depending on that so say if it's about um, Easter time, you know, Easter eggs, Easter bunny, we could make it quite colourful when they bite into it. Um, maybe for Christmas season, like a red turning into green or something like that. Mm -hmm. Also going to make sure that the colours are not going to be artificial because we don't like to do that here. No artificial colouring. Doesn't taste good. No. Plus, we have all the abilities nowadays, don't we? To do it in a more natural and safe way. So, we could then also add maybe some tiny skewers in here and then add either some fruit or a tiny sparkler. Or, if we are feeling extremely uh, colourful that day, we could add some candy floss. We recently actually got some candy floss in that sparkles. Have you seen it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so wonderful. And it has this aroma that somewhat reminds me of lemon, but not in a sour way. It's very, uh, tart, I suppose. It's, it's just, it's perfect. It's perfect. The manufacturers do such a fantastic job. Hey, maybe we could go there one day sometime. If you'd like to. Yeah. I mean, this is only where the magic is presented. It's not born here, but I do like working here a lot. I like seeing the finished products. Okay. Right. I mean, yes, we do make the bread here and some little bits and pieces, but the big projects we usually send out for our company to work their magic on. Mm -hmm. They actually sent us some goodies today that are not only to be eaten, but you can also use them on your body as well. Yeah, so, um, well, no, I suppose the hand cream wouldn't really work for food, but um, yes, they gave us a hand cream, which was very nice. They gave us a type of jam that also works as a lip tint, very cool. Um, let's see, what else did they bring us? I'm not quite sure right now, but it was a big basket filled to the brim. Quite marvellous. So, this looks quite grand, doesn't it, I suppose? I think we can work with that. So, cupcake design. Cake design. And I suppose for the bread, we could really do something that's 
maybe just a bread roll that's in the shape of, I don't know, maybe like a bunny rabbit or something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, it's quite simple. You really just snip two parts of the front of the bread loaf and then you, when it's dough, of course, still not when it's hard, you um, poke two holes at the front and then also kind of dot the front part as well so it looks like it's got bunny ears, two eyes and a little nose. It's super cute. Very effective. People love it. So. Yeah, you can try some of the goodies, of course. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that is one of our strawberry tarts. Mm -hmm. It's got some jam in the middle as well. Yeah, go ahead. Um, okay. I need to remember to put this to the front of the shop. I also need to clean that with the flat area in the corner. That's a new box. Hmm? Oh, you spilled. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Uh, let me get that for you. Don't you worry. Oh, you also got it on your jacket. Oh dear. Okay, in that case, I'm actually going to use some liquid on your jacket. Is that okay? Yeah? It's just a little bit of a cleansing water. It's completely fine for the skin as well. Um, let's see where I put it. There. Just cover this a little bit. Dust. Might as well also use this little brush here to get rid of the crumbs. here all the time. I always like to come here prepared, just in case somebody spills something. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, there's um, no oil stains that can come from this. Plus, if there were some oil stains, you can simply use some salt and rub it on there. Mm -hmm. It absorbs the oil. I believe that's also a tradition at weddings, is that someone walks around with a plate of salt? Yeah, I heard that recently. I was wondering why they were doing that, but it makes sense, doesn't it? In case someone spills. We recently had quite some troubles with the stained glass cookies. Did you try those? No? Well, basically we had two cookies, which was the base, and then we would cut a hole in the middle and then add a fine layer of sugar. Well, basically you caramelize the sugar so that it becomes like a glass plate in that sense. And then we would stick it together with more sugar and between the individual little windows, so to speak, we would add some sprinkles. So it kind of looks as though there's colourful glass between the cookies. 
and a lot of people didn't know that you had to eat the entire thing so some of them that were here they bit into them and immediately a whole bunch of cookies cookies sprinkles came out it's really funny <laughs> it was quite a mess but people did enjoy them you've probably seen pictures of those layer cakes where you cut into them and then as you take one piece out there's like a bajillion pieces of either candy or um, well, little caramels or something coming out of the cake. Yeah, what a mess. I've seen it a lot at kids' parties. Not so much adults. But, yeah, it's pretty to look at, but a mess to clean up. There we go. Much better. Mm -hmm. All gone. Don't you worry. You look great. Hey, would you like a little complimentary hand massage with the products that were sent to us? Yeah? Okay. Um, let's see, we have three different flavours, or three different scents. One would be grape jelly. The other one is pineapple, and the other one is green apple. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So, let's get a little bit of this. Maybe that will help you feel a bit sleepy. Mm -hmm. Oh no, no, if you feel super sleepy here, you don't have to walk home. No, you can stay here. We have two bedrooms in the back that you can use. Mm -hmm. We sometimes come in here extra early and have a bit of a snooze before we, you know, start to get everything sorted out. Depending on how far we travel to get here. I don't live too far, so it's not too bad, but... Yeah. Okay. No problem at all. We have extra pyjamas for you. We have... Um, I'm sure we have a new toothbrush lying around somewhere. And, of course, loads of blankets and pillows and whatever you need. Mm -hmm. So we won't take too much, because this product is quite potent. Okay. Just going to warm the product up between my hands. Which hand first? Right one or left one? Okay. Good. So, we'll start on the palm first, okay? We're going to individually run across your thumb, index, middle finger, ring finger, and the pinky. And then do the same going back again. Just like so. Then circular motion over the entire hand. Just very gently. Turn around. Then lather the product here. And again, pinky, ring finger, middle finger, index, and your thumb. And circling motions again. Do you use cuticle oil for your fingernails? Mm. Yeah, I think it's very important during the colder seasons. I feel like in springtime, summertime, it didn't necessarily have to, or at least I don't use it. But um, we always want to make sure that when the weather's still a little bit cold that we apply more. There we go. And then individually apply some pressure on each finger. So, want to get the blood flow going, but also really hit those points that create some nice relaxation. Mm -hmm. Our body is connected in so many ways. I think massages are very, very important. 
important to kind of loosen a knot that might be, you know, not only bothering the body but also the mind maybe. So, other hand, let's start again. The palm, thumb, index, middle finger, ring finger and the pinky. Circular motions and again backwards. Very good. Turn around. Pinky, ring finger, middle finger, index, and thumb. And just cover the hand with the bottom. Smells good, doesn't it? Yeah, I like it a lot. Did a great job. Mm -hmm. There. That should soak in nicely. If you just want to keep your hands like this for about a minute. Perfect. Okay. Right. Now. If you actually want to stay here, I'm just going to have to write some notes down, okay? Um, about you actually staying here. We'll just treat this as a little hotel visit. As a matter of fact, should I write down, since you're probably going to be sleeping here for a few more hours, shall I write in some ideas for a late breakfast for you? Yeah? I can bring you something. We've got savoury breakfast as well as sweet breakfast. Okay. Right. It's completely fine, I promise. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would actually recommend our good morning tea. Mm -hmm. It's a peach tea. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. We could also serve you up the breakfast. Soup. I'm not sure if that's something that you like. Yeah, it's basically um, just vegetable broth with some carrots, with a little bit of potato and broccoli, and then we can add whatever you'd like towards that. Mm -hmm. If you'd like a more sweeter option, obviously we have absolutely everything here that you could ever imagine. But my favourite sweet breakfast, I would probably have to say, next to pancakes or waffles, it would definitely have to be a croissant. Mm -hmm. Yes. We do offer them with dark chocolate, but we also offer them as uh, milk chocolate and also cherry and chocolate. Mm -hmm. It just has some cherry jam inside as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll keep that written down here. Okay, and I'm also going to give you a big glass of water because hydration is important. Mm -hmm. And then, to slowly wake you up, is there a series or a film that you would like to watch as you wake up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, do give me some recommendations. I haven't been watching much lately. Been listening to a few podcasts recently. Yeah? You thought that was good? Mm, I'll write that down. Okay. Mm hmm. What else? Oh, yes, I've heard about that. Mm hmm. Yeah, I didn't get around to watching it, but I've heard a lot of good things. Mm. Keep that in mind as well. Sometimes I like to watch things in the background when I'm getting things ready here. Yeah. Obviously this time of day is very, very quiet, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Speaking of which, I still have to clean up some bits and pieces here, but I think... Best customers are probably going to be coming in in about three hours or so. But you can sleep in, obviously. That is no problem. Ok. 
Okay, good. Right. I'd say we're all set for now. What do you think? Yeah? Do you want to head over to your room? Of course. Okay. Right. If you need anything, you just let me know, alright? Perfect. Absolutely lovely. I'll be getting some stuff ready here and you can just relax. Okay. I will see you later in that case, okay? Sleep well.